Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. First of all, can we take a second to appreciate this makeup look I just did? I am absolutely obsessed with it. I do not want to take it off. I just filmed it actually a couple hours ago, so that should be up sometime later this week. But I'm filming two videos in one day today, and this one is going to be my skincare routine. Um, you guys have been asking for this since I started posting YouTube videos, but I don't know. I've always just held off for some reason. I don't know why, but my skin is looking really good right now. At least I think so. So I figure there's no better time than now. I filmed my AM routine this morning and I'm going to film my PM routine later tonight and then I'm just going to talk you guys through it right now. Starting off with cleanser, this morning I went in with the La Roche-Posay Ethiclair Purifying Foaming Gel. I really like this cleanser. I have really sensitive skin so sometimes cleansers can make my skin feel really dry. Um, this one doesn't do that and it also just makes my skin feel really clean especially with the amount of makeup that I wear. Also really like this cleanser by Mad Skincare though. This is the Delicate Skin Cleansing Gel. Like I said, I have sensitive skin, so this is amazing. After I've washed my face, I it honestly feels like there's no tightness, there's no dryness at all. This one is amazing. But they're both really good, um, so I just switch up between these two. For a while, I was actually not doing cleanser in the morning because I had heard that that was really good for your skin, but then I started breaking out like crazy. You can reference my videos from a couple of weeks ago and see that I just looked, it was a mess. So now I'm back to doing cleanser in the morning and at night and my skin's looking good. Okay, so I don't do a mask every single day, but I do try to do at least like once a week, maybe two times a week if I can. Today I was debating between these two. This one is my favorite. I'm gonna buy the full size version. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. It's supposed to like resurface your skin and get rid of any texture and it really truly does do that. Um, But today I really wanted to try this gold one. I've never tried it before. It's the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Mask and it's supposed to lift and firm your face. Um, honestly, I just wanted it for the thumbnail, but it did feel really nice. Again, this is one of those things that I don't do every single day, but I did put on some eye patches for today. These are the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Hydrogel Eye Patches. I do try to use these two or three times a week when I can. I just feel like they really do hydrate my eyes. And when I apply concealer later on, I find it creases less. While I was filming this, I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking, what's a cute thumbnail? So I put on the mask and the eye patches, but then I realized that that was a mistake. I have to wash off the mask, which means I have to wash off any serum that the eye patches like left over on my eyes, but usually I'll just like pat it into my eyes. So that was a bit of a mistake, but at least I got a cute thumbnail out of it. Hopefully I haven't even looked. But I do highly recommend these. I have one more. They came in a trio as one of those like Sephora gift value sets. I got three of them for $100 when just these alone are 100 bucks. If you guys see that on Sephora again, pick them up because I really, really like these. After I washed off my face mask, I just patted my skin dry. I do that after cleanser as well. And then I went in with this product here. I use this every single morning. This is the COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I love this. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. I need to buy a new one and I actually want to try more of their snail products because like this is so incredible. I'm so impressed with this. Also, I got this at like Walmart. It was so cheap and it does an incredible job. I highly, highly recommend this if you have not tried it. But yeah, I just take a couple of pumps of that, I rub it into my skin, and then I like to finish it off with a padding motion. I apply all my products this way. I find that padding it into my skin helps it just soak up so much easier. Before going in with any other products, I do like to let that sink into my skin a little bit. While the snail mucin is drying and before moisturizer, I always use an eye cream. Lately, I've absolutely been loving this Dr. Jart one. This is the Ceramide and Eye Cream. I have to use this every morning, every time I do my makeup, otherwise I can see my under eyes creasing so much more. Obviously, if you have fine lines under your eyes, they're always gonna crease no matter what, but this just helps it look significantly better. I also just find that it brightens my eyes and like depuffs them and I'm not a morning person at all, which is why I like to go in with the eye patches and the eye cream. I feel like that really helps like 
wake me up and make me look like I don't hate my life. This is the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor. This is an SPF and a moisturizer all in one. This is what I use as SPF and moisturizer. I know that it's better to have a separate F SPF and a separate moisturizer. However, any SPF that I have tried has broken me out. This is the only one that has not, so I love this. I've gone through probably like five bottles I'm absolutely obsessed with it. If you have any recommendations for an SPF that does not break you out, please let me know down below. It also just makes my skin look so nice and glowy after I apply it. Like, it just looks so healthy, even if I have blemishes, even if I have texture, somehow this makes it look so radiant and hydrated. It's just such an amazing product. And that is my AM skincare routine. These are the products that I reach for every single day. Sometimes I'll try out a new serum or a new moisturizer or something like that, but these are the ones that I always go back to, my go-tos. Definitely give these a try if you haven't, and let's move on to the PM routine. I'm pretty much always wearing makeup, so the first step is always to remove my makeup. This is what I use every day. As you can see, I have the value pack. This is the Bioderma Micellar Water, Ma Micellar Water Makeup Remover. This is really good for sensitive skin. I, I absolutely love this. And I just apply that on a little cotton pad and it's very gentle, but it still really effectively removes all my makeup, especially stubborn waterproof eye makeup. Okay, this is so bad, but like sometimes I'll come home from work and I'm exhausted and I'm usually so good about doing skincare. But last week there were a couple of nights when I was just I could not be bothered to do skincare. I was like, I don't even care if I wake up with a new breakout. I'm just going to deal with it tomorrow. I'm so tired. So I just went to bed. But I did just like happen to grab one of these and like soak it with the micellar water and like take off my makeup while in bed. And I woke up with my skin looking so good still, which is so rare. And I've actually seen a few TikToks of people saying that they'll use their micellar water after their skincare routine. And that like it apparently is like amazing. So I might try that because I was not mad at how my skin looked after only using this. After that, again, I go in with a cleanser. You already know the drill. Lather it up, rub it into my skin for about a minute. That's my general rule. I like to like rub it in for a minute, rinse it, pat it dry. I'm not gonna film myself doing this tonight. You already saw it this morning. Once my skin is fully cleansed and dry, I like to go in with an acid. These two are my go-tos. So this is the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA AHA Salicylic Serum. And this here is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboos Glycolic Night Serum. This one you can use AM and PM. Um, this one is PM only. I don't apply an acid every single night just because I want to give my skin a break sometimes. Like I said, it's very sensitive. I do use an acid four or five times a week still, don't get me wrong, but there are the couple nights a week where I think, okay, it's best to give my skin a break for tonight and I'll just go in with my snail mucin or like a hyaluronic acid or something. But yeah, typically I will go in with one of these and then the next day I wake up to the softest skin. Absolutely, absolutely love these. Like I have so much hyperpigmentation and my goal is really to get rid of that and this helps a lot, I find. If you guys have a serum or anything that you recommend for hyperpigment hyperpigmentation, please let me know down in the comments. I am willing to try anything. In the event that I do have a breakout, after acid, I will go in with a hydrocolloid patch. These are so good. These are basically like those pimple patches, except for they're so much cheaper and you get so much more use out of them. What these do is they like suck out the gunk from your breakout. So anytime I have one, I just apply one of these little bad boys. I have two brands here. This is the Band-Aid ones and this is the Next Care ones. The Band-Aid ones, I don't like as much. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they always suck out less than the Next Care ones. Given the choice, I would always, always pick these instead. The only reason I have these is because these were sold out. Okay, while the glycolic acid is sinking into my skin, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this because little did I know while I was filming, I did have a little friend here and here that are joining us today. So we're going to eliminate them right away. Okay, so this is the Next Care Hydrocolloid patch. Okay, so this is the part you're gonna want, um, this little like actual hydrocolloid part. What I'm gonna do is take, okay, they are not cooperating. What I'm gonna do is take my little scissors and cut around this like so. It's kind of hard to do when I'm not looking at it and trying to film, so I'm just gonna stop. So yeah, I'm just cutting around it because there's no point of just having the part that's only adhesive, you know what I mean? I feel like I feel like that can't be good. 
So then you're left with something like this. I'm just gonna cut it here and here into three pieces. So now I have my little piece like this and I'm going to peel off the back. And with the sticky side, I'm just gonna go and place that right on. I just had to brag about how good my skin was looking. This is my own fault, honestly. After my acid has soaked in and my hydrocolloid is on, I go in with an eye cream again. So typically I'll just use the same one from the morning um, because it's niacinamide, so it doesn't like react badly with any of the acids. But if I'm not using one of those acids, I'll go in with this glow recipe one. This is the avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask. First of all, how cute is it? I'm obsessed with it. You're not supposed to use this with any other acids. So when I'm giving my skin a break from the acids, I'll just go in with this under my eyes. And you guys, I swear, I'll like immediately see my fine lines disappear. It's crazy. This is such a good product. But again, I'm just taking a little bit of that eye cream on my ring finger and patting it into my skin. You don't want to tug it or anything because that'll just make the lines even worse. And the final step to my nighttime skincare routine is moisturizer. These are the two I've been reaching for lately. This is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. And this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. The Glow Recipe really does just plump up your skin. I also really like this for under makeup. And then this First Aid Beauty one, so good for sensitive skin. If you guys are wondering, I do have combination oily skin. This is like good for dry skin. It says here on the on the packaging. Um, but honestly, I have, like I said, combination oily skin and I think it works really well for me as well. I think I forgot to mention this, but obviously we're gonna be going in with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I wear this all the time and we cannot be forgetting it at night. And that concludes my skincare routine, both morning and night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was, I hope it was everything you guys have ever dreamed since, you know, You've been requesting it for so long. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Leave me your suggestions and recommendations, please. I've been struggling with my skin for years. I need help. If you like this vibe, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.